Okay, you guys, I just brought uh, baby Swaino in to the stall. Uh, he's right here with me uh, with Barnes and Noble. You can see they're over here. Uh, they're still in their kind of mellow mood. Uh, they just had some time in the turnout and um, Swaino's actually been nipping at my uh, hoodie that I have wrapped around my waist um, while I was putting the camera up, which I thought was really cute. Although you're not supposed to allow your donkeys to nip at your clothing or nip at you. Uh, I, it was the first time he did it, so it was really cute. But uh, I mixed a really big container for Swaino, and that is 28 ounces. I think it's way more than he will eat, but he ran out this morning when I gave him 20 uh, ounces. And so I'm also going to use a bigger bowl tonight and see if the boys, Barnes and Noble, will um, be encouraged to um, drink with him. Who knows, maybe they will. And I put uh, a dish of the Purina mini horse and pony feed that uh, Swaino loves. Uh, the boys have nibbled on it a bit. Uh, I just would like to see them do better. So I broke Swaino's protocol of keeping him in uh, quarantine. Come here, Swaino. Keeping him in quarantine for 30 days, uh, putting him with animals that haven't been here, uh, not even a week, uh, that could uh, risk him getting sick from uh, going in with animals that soon. Uh, these babies aren't showing signs of sickness. They're not coughing. They don't have a temperature. They don't have fever. Uh, they don't have upper respiratory infection. And so I just made the decision, and a lot of people asked why couldn't Swaino go in with them. And I'm like, I think it's a great idea. We wanted to get Swaino a buddy anyway. Um, but he's over here sniffing this jug right now. Come here, Swaino. Uh, I don't, you can't see him, but he's with me. I can't think you can see his back. He is like locked into me. He knows uh, that I'm the one that gives him his food and he's probably ready for me to stop talking and uh, get it going. So that is going to be uh, 28 ounces and he knows what this means. I was hoping the babies would come over and join. I did bring theirs too to work with them separately if they don't want to join. And so, uh, here's my name. I know it's a different bowl and they definitely like routine. So it's a little confusing whenever you change <laughs> things up. He's like, what is that bowl? So uh, <coughs> once you teach them and get them to learn something, then you go change it up. That's so confusing for babies. Yeah. So I'm gonna grab his silver bowl that he likes. Alright, Swayo, come on. Come on. Here it is, baby. Here it is. He definitely knows this bowl. It's a whole new environment for you, huh? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's happening? What's happening, Swaino? Here, I'm going to uh, hold you still. Can you turn? Turn your body. Uh-oh, sorry. So sorry. And so, again, that's sometimes why I don't do any talking when they're drinking. Back mm -hmm. to the rule of do what's working. Don't change it. It's so nice to see uh, Swaino drink freely without me holding him or putting my shoulder over him. 
Himmler is really good. And Barnes is curious. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Come here. Come here. Oh, he drank it. He drank it all. Let me get some more. That is just a tad a little bit left. cute. Let me finish up with uh, Swainos and uh, really like Swaino. Uh, and now he's sniffing the bowl. Swaino just drank 28 ounces. <laughs> he went from 16 to 28 overnight. <coughs> hey Barnes. So we're going to get that last little sip. This morning I had a really rough time with Noble. I had put some Uniprim antibiotic powder in uh, because Barnes has brain rot on his back. I had the vet check it yesterday. All these little scab feeling things, they're about this, about the size of your thumbnail or a little bit smaller scabs. And so he said to give them Uniprim in their feed, but they're not eating enough feed. So I thought I'd put it in the milk, and I guess it changed. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. I guess it changed the flavor, and he, uh, Noble didn't like it at all. He was not happy at milk time. He was actually very naughty, and I tried to be persistent and not give up. And uh, he was uh, all over the place. And Noble, nope, that's Barnes. I can see him anxious to get this bowl of milk. Hi, hi, boo boo. Hi, boo boo. Hi, hi, boo boo. didn't put the antibiotic in tonight because they were both very finicky and I thought what changed and remembered so he's being difficult tonight too and it's concerning me because they didn't get much this morning acting is act, act exactly how, uh, and I did find another baby halter. Um, Noble was so naughty. Uh, they're just refusing the milk now, and that was one reason why I brought they have to drink. him against the wall and that makes him mad and uh, Swaino he doesn't even understand why this is why are they acting like this he's like I'll drink it give it to me
at those barns. Barns, I have to stick my finger in his mouth to get the tongue unlocked because they suck on the tongue a lot. And I have to get it unlocked so we can start licking. And Zeno really wants this milk. drinking the good Swayno. Then I'll just put a bucket on the floor or that rubber dish and y'all can drink together. Oh, Swayno interrupted that. Yes, you did. My goodness. Oh my goodness. You have to stick with it. Just because they refuse it, they don't know. They don't know that they need to have this for nutrition. Uh, they just know they want you to leave them alone. And so, um, this little dude is so difficult this morning. And he keeps wanting to back up. And then he wants to twist and turn. And he needs... stand by but anytime I stick his nose his mouth in it he's refusing it completely and it just concerns me because uh, he was such a good drinker oh my goodness he is a mess the days before uh, and now he doesn't want in the center so I put him against the wall and he's just uh, fighting it and he needs the milk to survive uh-uh uh-uh if I had somebody to hold him it would be most helpful uh-uh uh-uh nope Drink it. Just sitting there. 